Hello, it's Pastor Ken from Northminster Presbyterian Church in Tucson, Arizona. Hope you're having a good day and a good week. I am back from Africa and uh, Malawi, and uh, it was a wonderful trip. Thank you for all your prayers and all your support. I will probably share uh, a variety of things in the next few weeks uh, as I make these devotions, and uh, may uh, hopefully I'll be able to share a, a few pictures uh, and some stories also uh, in the context of worship, but it's good to be back. I am uh, feeling pretty good. Uh, it was a long, long flight uh, home with about five or six different stops, uh, and uh, that can be difficult, but uh, I feel good. I'm just so thankful that I got home safe and healthy, and again, I can't thank you enough for your prayers and support. It was a wonderful trip. Uh, I trained uh, about uh, 60 to 70 uh, church leaders and pastors who will then go on to their churches and uh, do some refresher courses and training in the book of Jonah and parables. Uh, I taught on prosperity gospel or false teachers, which they really appreciated uh, because that is widespread in Africa. And so it was good to talk to them about that. Uh, I uh, preached a couple times. I was at I uh, held a couple uh, youth leaders and youth events. Uh, Malawi, like most countries in Africa, is a young country. Um, about 75 to 85% of the population of Malawi is under the age of 35. So when you go to churches there, you'll see uh, a lot of young people, uh, young adults, college, children, uh, middle school and high school students. It was wonderful to be with them and talk to them about the challenges that they have. At one of the sermons, uh, one of the sermons I preached was um, from Revelation uh, 22, verse 20. Yes, I am coming soon. And it's very interesting uh, to share just one little piece of being Malawi, uh, in Malawi. Uh, that verse is so dear to Christians in Malawi who struggle to survive each and every day. And uh, they look to Jesus, who is coming soon. Um, look to Jesus, and, and that becomes very real for them uh, as they struggle to uh, feed their family each and every day, as they struggle to get to places, as they struggle with uh, disease and death. Um, sometimes death that comes uh, way too early for many people because of the harsh conditions. And yet they have a joy and happiness about them. Uh, because of their faith in Jesus, and because of that verse, that they know that Jesus is coming soon, that he does care, that he does see, uh, as he did with the churches, uh, those seven churches in Revelation who were struggling as well. And so, again, thank you for your prayers. You've made such a difference in the lives uh, of the people there, of uh, the Central uh, Church of African Presbyterians, as well as other churches. Uh, and for God's kingdom. And uh, so again, it was a great trip. Thank you so much. And I hope you have a, a great day, a great week. Be safe, be safe and be well. And uh, hopefully I'll share a few more stories in the coming weeks. God bless.